This is the contrast in a CT scan of orbit of a 55, 55 years old female patient. She presented with proptosis, corneal ulcers, conjunctival congestion and ophthalmoplegia. Now please observe this mass lien. This has partly surrounded the right eyeball. It lies along its middle surface superiorly along its lateral surface and extends into the infralateral part of the orbit. The mass has involved right lacrimal gland as well. As I scroll it posteriorly, the mass has involved lateral rectus muscle, superior rectus muscle, superior oblique muscle. In this region, it has involved the inferior rectus muscle as well. Now, this is the optic nerve. It lies in contact with the right lateral margin of the optic nerve. The mass has extraconal as well as the intraconal components. Mass extends posteriorly up to the orbital apex. In the region of orbital apex, it has involved the medial rectus muscle as well. Now this is the orbital apex, orbital foramen and optic canal. There is no intracranial extension of the mass. This is the cavernous sinus here. The density of retrobulbar fat is slightly increased on right side. Now I will show you. This is the axial scan. Same findings. Right eyeball is displaced anteriorly, so there is proptosis. It is displaced not only anteriorly, but, but also inferiorly and laterally as well. Eyeball is spherical. Vitreous is clear. There is no involvement of the vitreous. So the possible diagnosis in such cases are the tumefective pseudo-inflammatory tumor of the orbit and the lymphoma.